Hi, my name is Tom Clark and I'm an Applications Engineer for National Instruments. Today I'm going to talk you through distributing your application. There are two key steps to this. The first is to build an executable. This takes your VI's independent files and builds them together into one program which you can run on your computer. The next step is to build an installer. This takes the executable, the device drivers and the LabVIEW runtime environment and it builds it together into an installer package which you can put on any other PC. First, let's take a look at the files we're looking to build. We have a main VI, we have a data file, and we have a series of sub VIs which are called by the main VI. We can see how this works here. We select the data file, and then we can acquire data from it, we can graph the data, and we can analyze the data. I'm just going to close that down now because the next thing we need to do is build this into a project. So we're going to select an empty project and we're going to add that folder. So you can see here everything's come into the project fine. So now we're going to build our executable. We do this by going to build specifications and selecting a new application. This creates a specification which we can build from. But first we need to save the project. I'm going to save this in the tutorial folder as tutorial project. Now we can enter some information about our application. So let's call it tutorial exe. And let's select our directory within our main folder. We're going to create one called application. I'm going to double click on that and use that as the current folder. I'm also going to enter a brief description. On the left hand side we have the category window. This contains a lot of options on how we're building our executable. The one we're interested in at the moment is source files. Here we need to include our main VI as a startup VI and the following VIs need to be always included in the executable. The other VIs will only be included if they're necessary. So let's preview what we're going to build. And you can see here we have our executable and our data file. I'm going to OK that and save. Right click on tutorial and build. Now this is done, we can see it's in the folder and it operates in exactly the same way as it did before. So now we've built our executable, we can go ahead and build this into an installer. So much the same way as before, we need to make a build specification. I'm going to name this select the destination. I'm going to make a new folder called installer. As with building the executable we need to include our source files. In this case we need to use tutorial exe okay so now that's been added we can look at including shortcuts. By default we'll have included a shortcut in the program menu folder. I also want to put one on the desktop. So we're going to add the link to tutorial exe. I'm going to place it in the desktop folder. We don't need a subdirectory. We also need to look at the additional installers that create the environment that allows our program to run. In this case we need the LabVIEW Runtime Engine 8.6. You may also need hardware drivers, for example DACMX. So now we can save the project again and build the installer. Once this is done, we can go back into our tutorial folder and run the setup executable that's been created. 
This is going to install our program on this system. You can see here the changes being made. Now that's done, we can see the shortcut on the desktop, and we can also see it's been installed here. Once again, it operates in the same way. Thanks for listening. If you have any further problems, please visit mi.com forward slash support.